Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is how to determine solubility using a graph. All right, so most solubility graphs we're going to see have these two axes, temperature and solubility. This one happens to be in water. So these little numbers here mean how many grams of our solid are going to go into 100 centimeters cubed or milliliters of water. And this is temperature. So right off the bat, we can notice that uh, basically for everything, solubility increases with the temperature rising. And this makes sense, right? Because solubility is how much solute will go into our solvent. And so how much will dissolve. And if you've ever tried to put sugar into you know, cold water, it's gonna take a lot of stirring, it's gonna take a lot of time. But if you're putting sugar into hot tea, it'll just go in, you stir a couple of times and it's done. And this is because at a higher temperature, both molecules are really uh, moving faster and they have more energy, which means that they're going, these water molecules are going to be able to come in and knock these solute molecules apart, uh, thus making it soluble. All right, so let's take a look at some different solutes. So first, we have something we should all recognize, sodium chloride or table salt. And we can see this actually has a really interesting or boring uh, solubility curve, right? Because it pretty much starts out at 35 uh, grams per 100 centimeters cubed of water, and it basically only rises to 40, um, all the way to 100 degrees Celsius. And so just an interesting note, Remember that every solubility curve for water is going to end at 100 degrees Celsius because after that, the water is no longer liquid, right? It's going to become a gas, and so you can't measure the solubility. Um, and so another one, potassium chloride. Now this originally starts out with a lower solubility than salt, but it's able to completely rise by the time we get to 100 degrees Celsius. And it would be pretty hard to predict these curves. We get all of this just from data uh, and things that people have done. And so a couple more, sodium nitrate. This starts way higher, all the way at 70 uh, grams per 100 centimeters cubed, and it rises. But the one that has the hugest curve of all is potassium nitrate, right? It st starts here, just a little bit above 10, and it rises pretty quickly to well over 100. So depending on the different intermolecular forces and intramolecular forces that ha each molecule has, uh, the solubility is really going to range uh, quite dramatically. Uh, and so this is pretty much all you have to do. And so if we want to pick a specific point, we just pick 50 and look at our four different solubilities. We can pick any point we want to. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been How to Determine Solubility Based on Graphs.